Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You put your hand here. Hallelujah. Amen. Just to, to encourage you, you must go 
whenever it is needed. It is very important. Uh, another announcement is about our next convention. We will have our convention from 24 to 26 June. And we are going to have visitors from you. USA. Yeah, so I urge each and every one of you to come in large numbers. So that we should be blessed again. Uh, and we need to have another item it's about Paper Sunday. We are going to have our Paper Sunday for the month of June on 3 July 2022. So as usual, everyone who made bridges to us paper Sunday, you must fulfill it. Everyone knows his or her bridge. So you must fulfill it. Tomorrow we will have a general cleaning. Mawati kandi ugonza. This general cleaning is we are having this general cleaning in preparation of the our dear women. Ah, ti kandi ugonza kwa kwa pingo ba no ugonzi kila ah so anawa wazimai. Yeah, so each and every one must come and do this general cleaning. Aliyesi ya kuleta kisha kuli afige mawa mtawi ya wili. The items to bring is slashers, balls, brooms. And the time is 8 o'clock. Our next, our next section meeting will be on 2 July 2022. And it is at Karuru Assemblies of God. Let's go there in large numbers. So at the end of this service, we have a gift to present to our guests. And we have prepared something for our guests so that they can take when they go back home. Yeah, that's the end of our announcements. I love you, boss. So, Fred, I'm calling you. Everything, why? You can also take for those who you know. I mean, what's your cause? What you get out of I left him alone. Philip Walker, Charlie De Jukusi, Charlie De Zingan, Kelvin Zenas, Abe Aliman, Victoria Ephraim, Amina Banda, Brune Juma, Maggie Frank. Thank you for your listening. May God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Now it's time for praise and worship. We sing one play song. After that, we will go to worship. Um, after worship, we we'll ask our guest for today to come over and take over the program. Hallelujah. We can stand. Can I ask you one? Now, before that, the who was our first person to come flying. Now, 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 our first person to
can give and commit herself to minister even to the youth. Commitment to the Lord. The secret for enlargement. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are loved by God. That's why God has sent her servant, her maid servant to this evening specifically for you. Why do you listen to me? My father, so you have a reason to say, God, thank you. But before I invite her here, I would like to recognize the presence of the church elders here. Thank you very much. Can you just lift up your hand? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. From uh, from Mago, uh, two of them. One of them is here preaching. So we are so thankful to the Lord. Uh, that one is my daughter. Even though you see, we she 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 Introduce you to someone very special. He is an encouragement to me. He is an intercessor for my ministry. He is an intercessor for my ministry. We started going together from 1988. She has a beautiful name. The whole world. Yes. She's the most beautiful woman in the whole world. The church elders don't say as uh, well. The guest speaker, the family, we want to bring the land. Pastors from Malcolm, Abdul, and Mark. We are here because of you. Dear man, I don't say that. I don't say that. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, evangelist, I want you to know that we are more than excited because of your presence. And because of your community commitment. And all those things that you have been mentioning here, they were so touching. You have gone through turbulent moments in life. You save your God. You have gone through problems in your ministry, but you never quit. So we praise God for that. You have just finished ministering. And here you are. You want to minister the youth. We want you to know that from our heart, we are appreciating your ministry. May God continue to prosper. So at this juncture, let's put our hands together. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. 
your money. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even mamas and papas can shout for you. <laughs> we that have shot all the angels. We can even shout better than you. You are still very, very fresh. You are still very, very in it. In it. Yes. Yes. In it. That is not so. In it. Yes. Now I want you to shout a mighty hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we start, can you get me? I want somebody to get me papers. Uh, I want, if you have a notebook, it's for youth. If you are a youth, I want you to write something you want us to address. Your challenges as a youth. Your you, 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 personally. Don't put your name. That you cannot tell anybody. That secret you can't tell your parents. That thing that happened to you that you can't even express. Your challenge as a youth. I want you to write it down. Because we are going to address it, but I don't want you to put your name. Because you don't know what to want to know who wrote it. Write it, fold it, and somebody will come around and collect it. This may be the opportunity you've been waiting for. For God to really touch you. Do you understand what I'm saying? We have peer pressures. I was also a youth, so I understand. I know what I'm talking about. Some of you here are struggling with masturbation. Yes, we did this. We did this in one of the churches in Zambia when I had a meeting with the youth. That was important. I, I masturbate. Yes, we overcome it. Masturbation is very common among the youths. Even, even Christian youth. So here is the opportunity. Then you are struggling with one particular thing. That is a challenge. Including a whole lot of things. As a youth, am I allowed to kiss my boyfriend? <laughs> Is it true? Listen, we are here to talk, including sex. We are talking, we are saying Don't pretend like you are innocent. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm? We are before the Lord. This are, These are things that um, you don't get the opportunity to express. It's easy to tell you to to because you just come to service and nobody had this one on one time with you. You are how do I know or identify the right partner? 
Imele nenda ene kubeza mtu Amele niko sogwati la nana hae mwe wanga osewa Am I allowed to visit my boyfriend My, my uh, uh, Fiance Or fiance uh, Whatever you know in all honesty, churches need to be teaching this youth these things. Don't, don't shy away from me because they know. Is this man who follows us? I know this is a bit of a bad bad yamada. I can't be. How is no matter how many is. In the Western world, sex education starts from primary school, even from primary school. I started teaching my children sex education from primary school. Before school, we teach them, I taught them. Don't think they know that they know. They know very well. So it's better you expose them to it, tell them the dangers of it. The good, the bad, the ugly of it. It will help them prevent teenage pregnancies. Some of them don't know anything about it. So they are the misled that they made that one mistake that will ruin their lives. So it is important that they know. Youth, am I right? Are you not interested in all this? Because it will help you. Not to make any blood of your life. Many destinies were cut short. Because of these errors. May you never miss your ways in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this time in your presence. Speak to your children, Lord. These are your children. And you said they are the pillars of the church. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. That will treat those things, even the secret ones in their hearts. Shine your light to every person. In Jesus' name. There are many youths, youths who were raped. And are still being raped. Even by their relatives. And they are afraid to tell their parents. And they are grieving on the inside. Many youths are raped by even friends. And they just leave their wounds in silence. Because they are afraid of stigmatization. But today the Lord will deliver us. If that is your story, write it down. How do I handle this situation? That is why I said, don't write your name. If I then, just write it, so it, so it, it so we are going to take everything at once and put it together. Tango, so, we have that these are moments that the house can help us if we cannot, they can help us. So start writing. I want to see you if you cannot write it in English, write it in Chichewa, any language, write it in English. If you cannot write it in English, write it in Chichewa, any language, write it in English. If you need paper, hands up so that we can get paper for you. If you need paper, hands up so that we can get paper for you.
Anybody need paper? I mean, I'm full of paper. Provide them with paper and skins. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. Hands up, so we know you need paper. I will tell you. I'm going to go. We need one. We need one. Yes, another hand there. You need more papers. You can see and hear. One hand, one hand. Back here, we need to put up whatever. You need to. You need to. I would have preferred to sit down. I was ashamed to say, you know, the doctor is the of God. <laughs> and this man, always looking out for his hair, the only queen in his palace, <laughs> came to say, do you want to sit down? I know she's tired. <laughs> and I couldn't refuse the offer. And I'm wearing a little bit of a ring. Everybody got paper? You need more paper? I mean, I'm going to go to my own danger and be able to do it. But I'm going to go to my own danger. I'm going to go to my own danger. I'm going to go to my own danger. Everybody got paper before we start now. We now ask anybody in Barisana and the photo was as in a museum. When everybody has finished writing, we will collect. We now ask the Marisa Gurem Badalini, the Batani, who did the Saganese, who did the Stengis in Tusk. Who is a youth? What your mother and dad? Who is a youth? What your mother and dad? A youth. Watching your mother. Simply put. Take a walk in your mother. Yes. An unmarried young person. Ku tapa sura kwa kwa mofu bili sama kui nukwane na watching your mother ni amene msaada wa dhi. What can I say from the age of twelve? Can be certified as a youth. Up to whatever age. It's 40. Up to 40. Youth. From age to 40. In some places, youths are from the age of 12 to 30. Tahu sampai ini wajibnya mada, ama bersega bersega cuan bila kumin di sui ini, kafika magumi ada tu di bersa bersa. So after that they call them singles. Ya, mana orang dia macam dia uli okala ok. They are they graduate from youth to single. Ama juga wajibnya mada, kena gugah kalah jendek. He just is single at that age. Kalau dia macam kalah jendek, kau fikir apa ni pun itu. How many of us are single here? Single youth. Ali bami ni ada juga ku kuci jamada ku panun dia agenda eka. Of course lah si. Ni awak itu jamada ni tu mahu eka. If you are married, you will not be here. Eh, kalau kau tu dah buat rasu kalau kau bawa, kau bawa. Ami ni aku sana nak buat ini. Ah, dah juga musa kas mana sih jah? Di musa kas mana macula sih? So kalau weka sih. I like to do this so that we can really hit the nail on the head. Kena ada di bangkes mana sih? Di tu buat di bawah ni, bawah ni. Our case study today is something. Some, our case study. Yes, uh, so we can be done. Start to study. Is something. Is a. We could win our children. Judges chapter thirteen. 
I'm going to be brief with this because this usually takes a lot of time. Actually, I will tell you to read it, so I'm just going to talk about it because of time. Samson was a promised child. Samson, I don't know how many of us in the story of Samson. And then that my friend. Hallelujah. How many of us know the story of Samson? Hallelujah. This one is working. How many of us know the story of Samson now? Who can tell us what do you know about Samson? I mean, I say, I mean, Samson. Then I got to so the first know only one popular aspect of him. And I might feel it wrong with you So don't tell us the popular aspect of Samson. Tell us the unpopular Musa, one. Musa, Musa, you know about Samson. Okay, tell us anything you know about Samson. Somebody, yes, I want different people to say. Go on, the floor is open now. Hey, this is I mean, 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 Samson, you know what he did? Yes, what else? Gina, <laughs> and what else my you uh, want me to do? Uh, what I know about Samson, Samson was a, was a man who had strength, and his strength was coming from his hair. Yes, more, more, more. We now saw me now was a Samson. I would do a win. Anyone else? We know. We know. Samson. Man, if I, uh, I'm not going to zip up. I do see that his death was just by. Uh, he committed. Is it suicide? He killed himself. I don't know. But he's understanding that uh, Samson, he, he killed himself. Yes. Yes, anyone? Anyone else? Oh, you know. There is so much to learn from the life of Samson. But you see, I see I now lose many things because of the position of Joy and Samson. Samson was. You want to say something? Yes. Sir. Are we giving him the phone? Okay, who? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so who wants to say something? I, I was next. Let him have it here. Okay, you, you are the protocol, so you take last. <laughs> Samson was a hard worker in spiritual life. Samson, not only being a one being, he was hard worker in the spiritual life. That's what he said. He's hard working. He was a hard worker in the yeah. spiritual life. He was a hard worker <laughs> in the spiritual life. In the spiritual life. Yeah, according to his understanding. I'm trying to understand that too. You will try. Samson, not only being a one being, the more you are going to see. The more you Yes. Okay. Uh, finish. Uh, okay. Another thing is that Samson was deceived with his with her wife to cut off his hair. She did not turn out Samson. I am Mr. Ringa's wife. I am Mr. Ringa. I was supposed to be some kind of a witness. We are not so good. We are not so good. We are not so Okay, uh, Samson was a chosen of God. Samson also to deliver the Israelites from uh, the hands of the Philistines. Samson and Alos sank the Nimur and Gupura from Mose and Aiza Ribwa to the Wadi Christ. There's someone at the front as well. We go to the Nimur when I died to Sono. Yeah, uh, another important thing is that uh, Samson did not born uh, uh, near Beth. Uh, it was uh, declared by an angel. 
Chikishina nchoni na huli Samson sana ngubadwa ya ngubadwa kwa wambai ngubadwa kwa wake mkodi muna nenedwa nitu ninge wambu ya There is someone in the front here He reviewed and followed that. He reviewed the secret that he was told not to review. Yes, you can tell us. You want to say something? Yes, yes. Yeah, he was down for because of his age. And I don't think. And I don't think. He was down for because of his greed. Yes. Greed. Eh, skate. 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 Come on, skate. Come on, skate. Ali Samson, and I don't think he was down for his age. Malinga ndika mpendekao. This is getting interesting. Yes. Uh, Samson, yes. Uh, another thing is Samson killed a lion at a team team na with his bare hands. Adapa adafika ba team na adapa ngango ni manja yake. Samson ni anadi mtu amene. Microphone. Samson ni anadi mtu amene. Samson was the chosen of God. So I wanted to go home. Your assignment tonight. Uh, to the book of Judges. From thirteen. Chapter thirteen. Carry on until you reach the end of Samson. In chapter thirteen is where the angel came to Chapter Jack is a fitting men in Gay one boy appear to Samson's parents who were parents. Anna on a Gayra, uh, what Samson? And told them about his pet. Ah, what are you about? I can go out. Samson was born with a great destiny. Samson, and nobody in Sukul Wara can be a deliverer, a judge. Oh, Matsula, oh, Eruza. So he was anointed, powerfully anointed. And he was also the one baby, was also the one pub. And his strength was in his head. I was like, his daddy was his dad. That is why the angel said, no blade should come on his head. The father gave all the men of the people, but who was the one who said, 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 who was the one who Take a figure by Oedus chapter 14. From verse 1. Yambi da verse ya ya wan. Samson went down to the city of Tina. Samson ni anabi da kumalwe no chida uti Tina. He saw a young Philistine woman there. Anao na msika na wati Philistine. And when he go home. Ata figure kunyumba. He told his parents. Anao cha magolo wake. I have found a woman. Says I want you to. Say, I saw a Philistine woman in Tim now. Now, 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 Iwe, wodi kwa watu kuna kubeba kwa muda hapa na kusabu pesa kwa watu. Iwe, wamare uguma from the Philistines. Paka ufuna kuwadi na kazi wa Philistine. The men are not even circumcised. And one biiri, abena umene unodi sana duli. But Samson said, "Kama Samson na na wodi." Get that woman for me. She's the one I want. Ine du, du ufuna mene, ufuna kuwadi ya bati. Now, as a youth, that is one lesson to me. Galaji na mada. The danger of marrying a wrong spouse. Uopia, ukwati la mutu. Amene ndo la mika. It's dangerous. Uzobi. Samson did not seek God's counsel. Samson, you said a full city of Pungu kwa mungu. Samson did not listen to his parents. 
The evidence is here, it's showing. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> if you tell me to go and dance like that, that means you are ready to kill me. That kind of energy is no more there now. Huh? Yeah, you see, that is the reason why the Lord has made us to be able to do that. Yes, I said, I'm going to be a little bishop because he was trying to imitate them. Yes, I'm going to be a little bishop because he was trying to imitate them. Yes, I'm going to be a little bishop because he was trying to imitate them. I cannot do it too. But if you train as a youth now, you can do it because you still have the strength. Umaru dalu wa pusida ufaka smena shonda rani ya madogo kwa sababu tangu fuwa uli nazo mpavu nyonga ni tuzo vudu tapu sika. That is why the Bible says serve the Lord in the days of your youth. Now is the time to serve God. Ufaka the Bible now to make it up with your matibu wa nyama madogo and ufaka it with your children. Now panova au ne matibu mtu make it up with you. Because by the time you get married and start having children, you will not be able to serve as much as you are now. Eh no mungu kwa diwa ina meno moone kila jo injole hero. No, there is no hope. Mtu make it up with your matibu wa nyama madogo and ufaka it with your children. Now there's no hopes of dragging you anywhere. But no matter what you do, as Baba Mene ha, I will put it at the door. I will put it back in There is no wife nagging at you. But if the boss wants to marry, I will marry. What would you do? Who will marry who? Who will what? But if the son will marry, I. There is no children drawing your lap. Papa, Papa, Mama. But if the boss wants to marry, I will put it at the door. I will put it back in 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 the door. So you have no excuse. This is the time. As you as a youth, you are the pillar of this church. Youthful exorbitance. Youthful exorbitance. Exorbitance is all this youthful um, um, like things happening to people, those uh, things that youth loves out there in the world, partying, drinking, smoking, fornicating, partying, 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 Shouldn't be your focus. Your friends may be doing it. It doesn't mean that you should join them. The Bible says, Come out from among them and be separate. This time I say, You you need to be careful who are your friends. Tau yino bende tini fait nyamara tu kwenye tisa mani kuhopia amini tu maachula kuda wa nanza tu. Stay away from worldly friends who are not adding any meaning to your life. Mutawe kwa zizano amini ndaji kuhunja amini sami nika pindu li na ino sepa mwe wani. Do you understand me? Muni vese sa kuhu. They say tell me, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. Tima nena kuli ndone se ni nzano amini wako ndaba mpone mpone fetu kuza ni zechi mene inumuli. Do you know why? Muma chofu wa yani? Because soon you begin to want to live like them, behave like them, act like them. If I go make a now, I go look at some other things. I don't want to say now. I go make a 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 now. You are lucky that you found him as a youth. Ma, you know, oh, oh, man, you know, I'm going to inform him. But many people met God when they are already mature. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Many people met God when they are already married. Then I would say, Asa, what did I say? Hold tight. Then I would say, Kumba Dre ni mabu ino. Asa, what did I say? I was in high school. The car was a school. That is what you call grammar school, secondary school. When I gave my life to Jesus, 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 and when I was born again, as a youth, I was born again. I was a worker. 
I was in the choir. I was busy just walking for God. I did not pray for your husband. I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't pray like some people would take time out to pray. Because I didn't pray like some people would take time out to pray. I didn't because I wasn't really looking into marriage or, or thinking about marriage. I was because of the, my background, I came from a, an abusive background. My my stepfather will always be using my mom as his stress release punching bag every time. Growing up for me was hard. It was really hard. I also faced the abuse. He would beat me up, kick me out. In fact, the devil used that man to try to pull me down from Christianity. I get flogged for going to church. Every time. But he didn't stop me because I love God. Under that kind of situation, I was still faithful, faithfully serving God. And coming home, I just know well, the highest is to get beaten. So I didn't pray for a husband. I was, I was just focused on loving my God and serving him. But Brother Bright was also a member of the church. Why me? I was busy chasing God. He was busy eyeing me. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't even aware because I, I, I was in church. I had no boyfriend in the church. I was not into any courtship. I was not looking at any guy in the church. I just didn't care. Moodyvesasakuinobamenevan.dijelabu.ah.mutswayinumutigamamfunamutuwasikana.tawisinaifedimagatnaijidiukomayemunanasasindigirabunubunokwabe.agumenyamastyle.nitudi.arivese. <laughs> I didn't even know. He told me it is even last year I knew that when we go for evangelism, he will be looking at me. You see, you don't know. Maybe some brothers here are eyeing some of his sisters. You don't know. <laughs> it's true. Some of, you, <laughs> some of you youths here, there is a husband and a wife sitting here not even knowing it. <laughs> that time we come now, now you see that uh, only God will begin to reveal. But when you remember the way you want to get a good time, I'm going to get a good time. Sister Agnes is my wife. Brother John has to be my husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Let me tell you a story of one of my pastors in Nigeria years ago. When I was going to church that time, he was a single pastor, very handsome man. There was uh, about, I think I know about two or three sisters in church who refused to marry because they feel pastor have to be their husband. <laughs> so one, I know two. One is a car, one is Messi. So one day, Messi, after waiting, 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 Pastor did not propose. <laughs> so one day during church service. Sister Messi started to. Uh, Messi, I'm about. 
Pastor Sam, I am my husband. I God, Pastor Sam, I am your husband. I God, I Pastor I imagine that's that's what that's what it is meant. Lost is dangerous. Lost, lost, lost. Carol, Carol, the second sister. Uh, she will come to old Pastor Sam again. The same one, Pastor Sam. And I will Pastor, I had a dream. In that dream, my The it was raining. I brought umbrella and covered me in the rain. I brought umbrella and covered me in the rain. I brought umbrella and covered me in the rain so that rain will not beat me. And you will see from this Sunday. You will see from this Sunday. Come, umbrella and covered me in the Senhor. So I think you are my husband. You never know. Mita mo funda na mo umbrella menem. Oh no, da isi jina. Di noa ini. <laughs> uh, Pastor, sir, I can cover you with umbrella because you are my sister. There's nothing wrong with that. And later again, she came to the game with another dream. Pastor, I was dreaming. We were on top of the mango tree. I and you were plucking the mango. And me, I was picking it from the ground. That means you are my husband. Is this you are my husband. Ah. <laughs> the pastor said it is not. You cannot be my wife. Ah, so after, after they waited and waited, pastor ah. did not marry any of them. Ah. Sister, Sister Mercy left the church with anger. And finally, Sister Carol got married to another person. So be careful of your dreams. When you are lost in after anybody, you start to see them in your dream. So I say you'd be focused on God in your place of assignment, your husband. Your, your, husband, your, husband, your wives. Everything you need will be given to you. Seek for the kingdom. Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything else will be added to you. Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Don't be focused on, on men, brothers, sisters in the church. First focus on God. Avoid wrong company. Pewani. Stay away friendly friends. Beware of peer pressure. Tawani. Muso pechera sokuti ni chile na ni chile na usajiwa. Don't be pressured. Musakala atu o o kaka misiro kuchita sin. Into doing anything that is against God. Chimene mkozo chita chimene chola mika masuba mwe. Clubbing. Kubango yenda mapwano mapadi. This is our club house here. Ah, kumi nuni kamanda wuli kupanda after party. Ndi kunogo kumene chizi mwe kumai basabondo. Osati moto. This is the best place to club. I'm telling you. Kunogo mwe kumai basabondo ko. Ubepele. We live abroad. Kunogo ifet makala kunja. We have never been to any club. We are surrounded with sin. But we refuse to fall into that sin. 
Daniel and his friends made up their mind that they will not define themselves. Make up your mind not to defy your own self. Marriage is honorable. Banja. And the bed undefiled. 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 And bed undefiled. And the 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 bed undefiled. I saw one of my neighbors in a church and I was in the middle of the church. I was in the middle of the church. I was in the middle of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived at all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep yourself for God. Is it necessary for the youth to follow his or her own decisions that are against from what parents wish him or her to do, especially in career choice. Is it necessary for the youth? I'm reading this one. Yes, I'm following. Okay. Yeah. Is it necessary for the youth to follow his or her own decision that are against from what parents wish him or her to do, especially in career choice. Is it necessary for the youth to follow his or her own decisions that are against from what parents wish him or her to do, especially in career choice? Hundred percent yes. This is a career choice. We have three children. If I don't Indiana at that. Our first daughter is 27 years old. She's a nurse. She's graduated. She's a nurse working in the hospital. Our second daughter, she's 20, you know, 21. Now, for my first daughter, from the beginning, she wanted to be a nurse. For my second daughter, at the beginning, she was confused on what she wanted to do. She, she came to us to say, oh, I want to do dancing as a career. As a parent, that is not an option for us. Because there is no nothing profitable in dancing as a career. So we as parents should learn to guide our children to take the right decision for themselves. I personally researched the prospect in dancing. I, I researched her career choice. And I brought her evidence. To say this thing will not put food on your table. We would want you to do a career that will put food on your table. So I gave her options which she doesn't like. So I spoke to her and I told her to go and brainstorm again. And come up with what she can do because we are not going to make the choice or decision. And she went to go think about it. I realized that we were right. She came again to say, okay, now I want to do, um, I want to study psychology. We gave her our blessing. So you see now, wisdom is profitable to direct. Parents are not to make career choices for their children. We African parents want our children to be doctors, nurses, and all of these things. But God may have another plan for them. 
Kwa hiru ife mago hako na kufiliga Tuma kandi zitu zambiri Zote hai mafuna manangare mapanga zakuti Manangare manguma Mungu na mene masoko God has deposited something that is supposed to channel you Or kind of show you the direction of the path you are to take him Mungu tu alinago jofuni gira mbomo yawani Chimena kwa zopika mwai nukuiki za kusu nyiza Nisogolo njile mene mko zorenka So yes But at the same time don't just disobey them outrightly Komaru ndi kuti inde koma mene ndi kunena kuti inde musi ndi kutanda uza kutena kuri kukwela bantu nda ungo figa kuchacha tu uza kutena kuri fast kukwela sangere tu jira hai kofu ni gaso kwa mbele try to help them understand why you want to do that career pena umaisa kukwafo do gozela chifuwa chimene inuyo mufu ni lama if you still refuse contact your pastor to talk to them on your behalf Ngana hapu mjiza mbe kutila kandisisa Habeze ni abusa Kwa abusa ini naoza magolo Izi zilaganika ndeni mafuna mkani tindisi Together you can form You can come to An agreeable agreement Chocho Mbamba mbibake mkwa soka Niji mfano chimote So I believe that question is answered Nikuru garifu soka nkidwa That I desire to achieve my goal have a good man in life and children too. Of course, that's a good desire. Everyone Everyone wants, make sure your goal is, is, is rooted in Christ. Not outside of Christ. For you to get a good man, you have to be a good woman. 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 And God will give you your heart desires in Jesus' name. Okay, read this in your language. <coughs> okay, read this is in your language. He's asking God to forgive him. And that uh, he, he, he made uh, an adultery when he, he she was married. Excuse me, you are not here to love. Stop it, some of you are worst. She's asking. God for forgiveness. Yes, I love for that. She committed an adultery. No. Um, when you are single, right. let me clarify the difference between fornication and adultery. When you are single and you are having sex, outside wedlock is fornication. When you are married, and you are doing the same thing with another person that is not your wife or your husband is adultery. So for youth, it is called fornication. That is fornication. God bless you. Ah, but there's another thing. I do. I say it's just too talkative. We want God to restore that he can be patient. More conservative. Yes. Yeah. And the other one. He want to study in life. I want to start a new life. For this person, God has heard your cry. You may be laughing, but this is serious matter. This is why I want, I like to be meeting with you. Because some months ago, God started giving me revelations. I've been going for program, but I've never been having time with the youths. God began to show me the vision that the youth needs help. They have this kind of body they can see. So for you, you committed adultery. Don't commit adultery anymore. Repent and give your life to God. And then uh, you say you talk too much. Guide your lips. So spend more time. See another issue with you, home, uh, youth. Stop watching movies, home videos, Nigeria movies, uh, America movies, uh, all those things. Stop it. So, devote your time to your Bible, your school, your working for God. Do you understand? Because when you, are, when, you are, when you are giving yourself to these things, you don't have time to be talking. 
Chifukwa atu mkazipe na ikadloka kutawe ya itali kati hii Sumanga ni tawe kwa 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 Pai na pali kwa sumene mwakala Chiso mochi kumasulele Musa mwerele yoso kuchimu Ndipo kuyankula yankula mwene kuchisimu ya chichoke msina la yesu Amwe akupase ni mwe wa sobanu soko la sobanu Kapa mbane ni mwuchijita chitazani msina la yesu Msina la yesu So avoid fornication is very easy now Ah, upewa nchitilogo na nangopega So, that is, so what we are going to do For this one For yeah. you, it's easy to avoid um, fornication. And the easiest way to avoid fornication is to avoid being alone with any opposite sex. Do you understand? Like, don't go visiting a boy. Alone, if you are in Don't go visit the opposite sex and I alone. Don't, don't be in any private place at any time alone. On completed buildings. Anywhere. You understand? Avoid it. Even in courtship, avoid it. Because people are Mwere mutandize chifuwa mafuso wa akuzo Akuzo kawa ufana Mwere mutandize Some of them will be similar I want you to put them together So we can just And this one is asking that Is it necessary to be in a relationship with a married person Very wrong You are not You cannot and must not Be in a relationship with a married person Is a kiss allowed in a relationship Is a kiss allowed in a relationship A kiss in It's not allowed in a single relationship. It's not allowed at all. Even if you are in courtship, you are not permitted to kiss. So you must wait until you are married. Even say so you are not even permitted to hold hands. Hello? You cannot hold the person you are engaged to. You can't hold hands. Don't open your mouth. Are you doing it? <laughs> so you can't hold hands and you can't kiss. Until you become to your wife or your husband, no kissing. So give me the shashak on this. Give me the silver silver. And is this one saying I've been I've been used to masturbate and sex with many girls, and definitely, and I'm doing this simultaneously. How can I come out from this permanent thing? I've been trying praying to be free, and for many times, but nothing happened. Uh, you see, you see, you see, you see, this is a salvation. Masturbation is demonic. Very, very demonic. So it goes, it happens in the youth. It's not about you to masturbation, pornography. So when you are watching pornography or sexual films, I'm going to face you. Yes, I know. 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 Because you have your own power that you can overcome it. You can be genuinely born again. I ask the help of the Holy Spirit. The urge will come. The urge. 
já de hoje não sabemos de desire de desire Now another problem is the kind of music you listen to outside. Now zina so nyimbo zokuti zovera zoti ngobanga the voices. Avoid walking music. Kumachoka mu nyimbo zimene zoti zona bajazi. Eh nyimbo tu. Jo zimene zoti muziki. Avoid it. Muzijoke zimene. Not gospel songs. Mu beze nyimbo za za jina Elijah oyende. The word of God you have time for all of that. Ah, okay. Uh, but this one is saying, I always doing, I always dream having sex. I'm a lot like this. This one is deliverance. That is a spirit, a spirit spouse. That is a spirit. That is a spirit husband, a spirit wife. When you having sex, you are doing dangerous. So be very, very prayerful. But this one is really. This one is really uh, disappointed. Uh, he said, uh, I've been proposed to you, but uh, uh, nothing is working. How many can you say? Uh, this one has been uh, proposed with many boys having sex in but nothing is working at the end of the, the day. Not your yes. word because you have lost your respect for them. So says the man who did it for this, so you can do them. Give it to them cheaply. What, they, what again do they want? So that, that is why you must close the legs. Yeah. 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 Sex is not love. Sex is not love. And it is not any evidence of love. So wait. Is that the one we just answered? Yeah, this one here. So wait on God. Trust God. You will bring you your own husband. Okay? We got to do the quiz. Masturbation, one place. So we need something. All the similar ones we tackled here. Anything new? Uh, this one has a problem of why when he, whenever he proposes, uh, the girls just get to the So, <laughs> so find out why. What is your character? Is it this one? Yes, yes. Is it? Are they both the same? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So find out what is it that what are you doing? That, that is chasing them away. You may do what you may do. It could be that you are very sick. It's because of the fact that you are not going to be able to do what you are going to do. You are not going to be able to do what you are going to do. Maybe you are, your character is not so good. We na yendo, we na wake manuka, so so we jaba kama de. No, 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 what is it that is causing that? Uh, uh, and, so to be honest, they are running away because they are not God's choice for you anyways. And uh, this one is saying uh, some men uh, is in Chiche also. Uh, okay. And he's saying some men are uh, trying to suggest them with money. What can they do? Run away from them. Mm. That is very easy. Run away. Don't be enticed with money. The, that is the trick of the devil. You understand? Wrong for your life. This one is saying the time she uh, she left to go. Because hold on, wrong for your life because they want to use money to win your destiny. So don't avoid them. Preach to them. If I stay away from them, give yourself to God, to the word of God. Give yourself to holy service. Wait for your own husband to come. Your husband will not entice you with money, but the word of God. 
the yes. paper that you have, mm -hmm. she's saying when he was at uh, his home, she, his home village, mm -hmm. a certain man led her, and uh, it, 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 was, it was not her intention, but uh, she was led, but you don't know what she can do. You have to forgive the man now that you are born again. Forgive him. Uncle your life to Christ. This is not your fault. Uh, so forgive yourself. I was Because God has forgiven you. Okay. Is it normal chatting with the, your opposite sex? Maybe your girlfriend or whatever on WhatsApp asking her, can you send your new photos? No, don't send any photo to anybody. Also, that means that we know we know what we are also, I'm going to visit as many as The reason is, after sending your full dress photo, they'll tell you, send, send me your naked photo. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. And also, avoid any relationship with those who are not born again. Stay with me. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. Muga, I'm going to watch out for the way that. If the person is not a Christian, but what you see, this one is saying that salary is, is not is not even a hundred thousand, so you don't have to do more. You say what? Yeah, the, the, the salary is very small. Yeah, the salary. What thing is this? You want to be rich? Don't depend on your salary. Don't be rich, don't depend on your salary. Uh, you want to be rich, don't depend on your salary. You want to be rich, don't depend on your salary. Small scale businesses where you get after work, something else to do. How to choose a right partner? How to choose a right partner? As a youth, as a youth. Yes. They are both the same thing, yeah? Yes, the same thing, yeah. Okay. How Choosing the right partner is very important. How do you identify with the right man, the right woman for you? Number one, what is your priority? Where is your priority? Number one, what 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 is your priority? Many people, you want to choose a partner, you are looking for a handsome guy. <laughs> he must be six foot tall. I can't want to have a light skin. I can't even look at you. I'm very rich. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and you marry them and they will torture you, torment you for life. And they will not be able to see that it's a pair. Number one, you have to do something. Number one, you must have the same, the same, the same likes. Mungu tuwa mene yo mfuna, muzika huli mungu zivu vana na ito kuzi nika. Zori kazani zofana. Ati number one is to be lovers of God. Mukale no se sofi mamboda mwe. When my husband and I we sat there, we were both lovers of God. Ina kundi yo akuna anga mene ni mawa loga na natuwa se yo mamboda mwe. My husband and I was jobless. Uda mene yo mamboda mwe sako mpira chiti. He just lost his job, but that was the criteria for me, for your husband. No, I saw him, he was a hard-working man. He was a hard-working man. And I discovered that whenever he's around me, I'm very peaceful. I'm very peaceful. So before I said yes, I saw that we have the same goals. Goals. Which was the love was loving God. Second, he was a proper gentleman. A gentleman. Like your bishop is a gentleman. That is why Mama is always smiling. <laughs> Is so. When maybe ga 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 ga, you carry you you put off a scarf, you turn it to your back, and then you are walking, you are doing gabo gabo, gabo gabo. No responsible guy wants such a husband. And people are always doing gabo gabo. They are always saying, "Mu mu 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 mu
What did you get my GDD? You must have your <laughs> your, your visions must be channeled on the same direction. You know my nani to maso benyana bizani. There must be a connection in your character. If the man is going right, you you are going left, two parallel and you never walk. Mm-hmm. A prayer warrior. A lover of God. If you both love God, let no man condemn you. Other things will align. He must be the foundation. Number one, chosen a path not to fall. Number two, be the foundation. Number one, chosen a path not to fall. Number two, 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 chosen a path not to fall. Maybe the will of God for you is a fat girl and is short. You have to accept it like that. And then pray, make sure God is the one leading you to her. And then make sure that person has the same interest as you. Mundo ya kale tio agude kodi ah na no no not the same but he's asking is it good is it for your language? Uh, yes in our language uh-huh. but he's saying is it good for a man to have a, a circumcision as a Christian circumcision is circumcision allowed as a Christian very hundred percent and so for me the second day one hundred percent if you are not circumcised go and register nah, so for me the second man will put a fist on it I can't imagine myself marrying an an uncircumcised man tambo gani san no way. Mm, no, come no, I go as a concise, oh. <laughs> it's very important. So you must be circumcised before you get married. Oh. You don't want your wife to be running outside. We are almost done now. Is your questions being answered? Are your questions being answered? Yes. Okay. Are you getting anything? But this question is said we have just an mixing reaction to our youth. Eh? With, they're just in a mix uh, at the, the youth level. You said uh, maybe the age, the issue of age. Mm. So he, he or she is saying, uh, can we have any selection? Do you need to have any selection? At, uh, at, at, at a youth level, we can select that maybe from this age to this age has to be. Oh, yes, and some us. churches do that it's because of uh, understanding. So, like, so, it depends on your church leadership. So, the, the youth leaders should meet with them and see how you can, you can, like, for example, say youth usually starts from 12. When a woman, I mean, when a girl is beginning to develop uh, uh, boobs, and you know, this time you are, you are, you know, you are developing a puberty. Puberty, puberty, how do you call it, is now taking place. We see them as youths because that is the time they need to know all these things. So those are youths. But then you can, you can, if you want to break them into groups, say maybe okay, twelve to proper adult starts at eighteen. So maybe you can say maybe twelve to seventeen, maybe like a group. Then eighteen to forty, whatever years as a group. But then you can also come together as one in some meetings. But when it has to do with specific teachings and this kind of kind of teachings that you want to separate you can have a separate meeting with the more matured youth mugo so kamira na fore ko zera na kuti tsi kala modern ni tsi jira modern ni maga maga kwa nyamata and this one is saying i have a passion for the orphans and uh, uh, but the problem that i have I, uh, i'm a school dropout and i drop uh standard is yoke he left school uh standard seven but uh, he had an ambition to go back to school and she she needs uh, help so the thing is this so since you dropped back for school what are you doing what are you doing with yourself are you walking education is not the end of the road Kodiru, mapuziro, masimata, nazogodiru. Kodiru, mapuziro, masimata, nazogodiru. Kodiru, mapuziro, masimata, nazogodiru. Kodiru, mapuziro, masimata, nazogodiru.
from there you can trade you can do some business or something you can you save up and you can sponsor yourself through education I am not a university graduate. Before I got married, I only went to call a secondary school. But I'm hardworking. From primary school, I do business from with my mom. So after that, I'm a trained hairdresser by profession. Hairdressing was natural for me. I just knew oh, how to do it from primary school. After secondary school, I work as an office secretary. And then I started secondary. running my own business. Banga business yanga. Until I got married. And while married, after having children, I went back to school. school. Education is never too late. Uh, school, see, see it. Our daddy had just graduated. Uh, so build it here. If you are waiting for help from anywhere, it may not come. So help yourself. Take those steps. You are youth. Go out there and make something good. Be that broken of relationship, make fears. Uh, sh sh Make us feel as far away from God. What can we do? Broken relationship with man or with God? Uh, yeah, I think it's, 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 it's no, this is a man. thing is man. Yeah. Not God. And it's God should intervene not to be angry. It's a broken relationship. This, this one is like a prayer. <laughs> it's like a prayer. But he's asking, uh, uh, being close to God. Is in your language? I know you you can read it. It's, it's in I can't understand some of the writing, so yeah. I have under the what? Of God. I can't read the writing, it's too tiny. Like breakups makes like when in a relationship and you broke up. Yeah. So now because your relationship is broken, that's why it's so, that's why it sounds like it's praying. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what kind of relationship too? So one thing, don't go into any relationship when you are not ready for marriage. That is another thing you must know. Let him very never know what we know. Also, my dear, also my dear, I would do for my boys, do for my boys, who said I would say, "Who can be a bad guy?" Before you can enter into any relationship, before you can start dating, who said I am a zoapa gufusi da? Make sure you are ripe and ready for marriage. You go, 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 go. Nda go say, go, go, go. Kala mai wa mutu ba ba mutu pre. Nda go say, go, go, go. You are 15 years, 16 years, 15, years. 16. You have no business in any relationship. Mm -hmm. So you are not going to get any Focus on your education. Focus on making something good out of your life. Twenty, twenty-two. I don't know your marriageable age here, but make sure. Here in Malawi, is eighteen and twenty-one. Even before you get to the 18 and 21, you are jobless. Don't think of marriage. You are not ready. It's so sad. <laughs> when people are getting married, I will ask, what is your profession? Oh, as, as a woman, when you are working and a man marries you, he will respect you. You are earning a living or something. Whether you are a man or a woman, at the age of 25, you are jobless, forget marriage. Wait. Wait until you have something to take care of the wife or the, your wife, even children to come. Before thinking of marriage. So I believe we have tackled all the questions because most of them we are like um, 
Almost the same. Is everybody, did you all hear your questions? Yes. Yes. Ah, why are they quiet now? Is the bullet too much? <laughs> Is the bullet too much? Some of you are disappointed. So you cannot kiss your boyfriend anymore. <laughs> no kissing, no holding until you are married. Amen. Yes, want to go now. So let's stand up. I believe that God has spoken to you. I want you to pray that God should help you to be a decent youth. Youth that will not be found wanting. We are praying and then I'm going to call our father to our mommy. Our mother, our, mother our, mother our, mother our mother in Israel. Our mother our mother in Israel. Our mother our mother in Pray for yourself now. That you will not fail God. Amen. 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 Amen.